The anthology Gender Outlaws initially presented the panel of judges with a dilemma. The writers and editors of this book are so clear about not wanting to be regarded in traditional gender roles, and yet, here we judges were evaluating books in consideration for the Judy Grant Award for Lesbian Nonfiction or the Randy Schultz Award for Gay <laughs> Nonfiction. As we debated what to do, we realized that our dilemma was in fact a kind of argument for the book. Its theme is to be open to, to and see all genders, new genders, different genders, and not just con confining <clears throat> gender to male or female or sexuality to lesbian or gay. And in our discussion, we were doing just that. There are more than 50 contributors to this book, which was edited by Kate Bornstein and S. Fair Bergman and published by Seal Press. These trans people, gender queers, and sex gender radicals have provided us with thought-provoking work that confronts gender issues in a vibrant, mind-expanding way. As a result, <coughs> readers are urged to challenge the status quo of seeing gender in a binary, to seeing gender in binary ways, and to experience gender non-conforming people in all of their beauty, complexity, and humanity. To recognize the amazing collection that is Gender Outlaws, the Publishing Triangle is pleased to bestow the judge's special award in nonfiction to Gender Outlaws. I'm one of the co-editors of Gender Outlaws, The Next Generation, um, and I didn't have to be all antsy about was I going to get a prize. I knew I was going to get a prize. <laughs> it's a special prize, and we all like feeling special. <laughs> I want to say congratulations to this evening's finalists and winners. Words have always been the leading edge of revolution. And as members of the Publishing Triangle, the words you publish today are the leading edge in the revolution of sexuality and gender that's lighting up so many areas of the world. As, lesbian, as lesbians and gay men in publishing, you are my artistic and revolutionary heroes. So thank you very much for giving a prize to Gender Outlaws, The Next Generation. All I can say is that if this book was going to receive an award, it is most fitting that the award come from publishers because this book is not the brainchild of any of its writers or editors. This book is only on the shelves because Seal Press kept insisting that the book be done. I said no for nearly a year. But Brooke Warner, our editor at Seal, was convinced that the time was right to update Gender Outlaws, a book I wrote 15, 16 years ago. For my part, I agreed with her, but I felt I was not the person to write a book about the next generation of gender outlaws. They knocked me over, they bowled me over, I, I'm the, but I wasn't the person to write about it. So Brooke Warner and Seal Press proposed the solution. Make it an anthology, they said, and edit it with someone who is a member of the next generation of gender outlaws. That became S. Bear Bergman, and the book came out, and now you want to honor us for it. Wow. No, really wow, because there's, there's lots of dirty words in this book. <laughs> and a lot of anger, a lot of tears, and more than a few belly laughs, all about really freaky people. And you still want to honor us. So, so thank you. I'm a Jew, and true to my nature, I ask questions. So I have a question for everyone here this evening. What is it that drew you to the world of words? It wasn't for the money. Although, uh, let me see the hands of everyone who, who ever wanted to win a million dollars for what they wrote or published. Come on! Come on, okay. You didn't ever want to win a million? Would you like to now? A million dollars for what you wrote, darling. It would be fabulous. But, you know, many of us have had that dream. I always do. I always think, oh, this will be the one. This will be the one. Nah. But, 
really, what madness is it that drives us all to the job of giving other people things to read? <laughs> Here, we say to the world, I made this, read it, please. <clears throat> more specifically, and I'd say more courageously, those of us in this room, we are saying to people outside our world, here, look at this, I, I made this. It's, it's a bunch of words. And by the way, it's a bunch of words that when you read them, it's gonna make you think about lesbians and gay men. These words I've made, we say to the world, when you read them, they're gonna open your heart to people who like sex that's different than the way you like sex. Those of us in this room have dedicated our lives, or at least this part of our lives, to getting words out into the world that open the world's heart to queer people, as well as words that open queer people's hearts to other queer people. That's fucking noble. <laughs> we are cool. I am proud to be family with you. So you gave us an award, you mad, mad, lovely people giving me an award, me and the team of 60, 70 people or more who put together and published this book, Gender Outlaws, The Next Generation, on behalf of all the editors, writers, designers, on behalf of all the big-hearted souls of Seal Press, thank you for this award. The judges for the nonfiction awards have made us feel special, and I appreciate it. So on behalf of S. Bear Bergman, our 51 writers, our agent Molly Gabaldi of Baldi Books, our editor at SEAL, Brooke Warner, our SEAL publicist, Andy East, Donna Galassi, associate publisher at SEAL, and SEAL publisher, Crystal Lyons, we say thank you. Now, what do we say thank you for? Moving out beyond the safety of the Publishing Triangle's mission statement. The Publishing Triangle's mission statement which to this day contains the binary of lesbian and gay writing. And you moved out beyond that to include the more freaky members of your family. We're grateful. And we're tickled pink because we know you did not give this award, award in a condescending move. You have honored our work. And so we thank you. And we honor you and your work. But Publishing Triangle wasn't the first one to step over some binary mandated boundary to get this book published. The motto of Seal Press is, by women, for women. <clears throat> well, I haven't called myself a woman since 1989. Barbara Hammer remembers those days yeah, back in San Francisco. <laughs> and I think you can count on one hand the number of people in this book who call themselves women. Oh, I would have loved to have been a fly on the wall in the editorial and publishing meeting in Seal Press when they concluded that Gender Outlaws, the next generation, transcends the mandate by women for women. That's what they did. And that brings me to the heart of my heartfelt thank you to you. There are so few presses left that have a feminist agenda, a lesbian and gay agenda. Those categories continue to be important to seal press, even though that means putting out books that are often marginalized. And what does that mean to the bottom line? Can I see the hands of the people who've made a million dollars on a queer or feminist book? <coughs> no. Yeah, well, the fact is this book is selling a lot better than we hoped. It's selling pretty damn good. But when Seal published Gender Outlaw Next Generation, <coughs> And when you chose to give us this prize, you looked beyond the financial rewards of staying within culturally mandated boundaries, the old boundaries of sex and gender, because those boundaries are broken more and more frequently every day now. And the common denominators of today's revolutionary voices are the words of sex positivity, sex inclusivity, and gender anarchy. Those words go so much further than lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, LGBT, ONNF for feminists is only the tip of the iceberg. In addition to lesbians, gays, bisexuals, and transgender people, there are over 50 more identities I found, and I wasn't even trying, that are more, <laughs> and 
denoted by sexuality and gender, and these folks need to be included in our publishing. To name just a few, just really, not uh, We need to read more words by and about Q for queer, A for asexual, A for adult entertainers, S for sadomasochists, S for sex workers, S for swingers, D for drag queens, drag kings, and all drag fuck royalty. I for intersex. Let's say it again, another F for feminists, because there can never be too many of those. Another F for furries. <laughs> yeah, you know what furries are. Anybody who doesn't come up and see me later, I tell you. G for genderqueer. Interesting word, genderqueer, the only word in the English language that names a gender that doesn't refer back to the binary. K for kinky, P for pornographers, P for pansexuals, P for polyamory, and E for etc. because it's going to go on and on and on. An AI for ad infinitum, and for you sci-fi and fantasy publishers, another AI for queer artificial intelligence. <laughs> if all of us in this room were able to publish words by all of those people and more, We'd all go right to hell. We would. There are a lot of people who would, who would say, no, don't, 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 no, no pornography. No, don't talk, no, 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 no sadomasochists. And not those furries. <laughs> no, don't do that. No. Everybody here who wants one, come up and see me afterwards. Don't touch me. I've got a flu that you do not want. But <clears throat> everybody here is going to get a get out of hell free card. Because you're brave and you're going to go straight to hell for this. Uh, here's how it works. You publish whatever you want to publish. You publish love. You publish ferocious love. You publish gender. You, you publish every gender you can imagine. And sex. Lots of fucking sex. You publish that. And if any of that gets you sent to hell, hang on to the card. <laughs> Hang on to the card. When you get to hell, give it to Satan. <laughs> I'll do your time for you. That's how it works. Now, that would be a call to a sex and gender revolution that's strong enough to take on today's overwhelming homophobia, transphobia, heteronormativity, and all the other vectors of oppression rooted in misogyny. Publishing words by all those sex and gender outlaws, that's going to save a whole lot of lives. Bless you for taking such a big step in this direction. Thank you, my dear.